everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week we are still in our new releases and I've combined a few of them together to create this little project. I think you're gonna like it, it's super fun. So uh, we're gonna need a few things to put this little tropical scene together. Uh, the little girl. So obviously you can use a little boy too. So either one. And actually uh, most of these will work in this little scene. So I've used this one here, this little girl. And then in the uh, garden shed set, I chose one of these and it actually works really well as a cute little beach cabin. And um, it's just these, these have so many uses. So that's that's a really fun way to use those. Uh, the palm tree set. So we're gonna make this tropical. So you could obviously change this out just by the backgrounds and the trees that you choose, uh, but we're gonna make this one tropical. So we're gonna use the palm tree set and then the new foliage set four, we're going to use the two little vines, the front and back. Okay, so actually the right and left, excuse me. Okay, so let's get started on this one. The first thing we're gonna do is stamp this little uh, shed and the little girl. So I'm going to ink that, um, I'm gonna ink that shed up and make sure that when you place this on your block that it's straight. It's so much easier to line it up that way uh, if you just do that right away. Okay, so now I'm going to ink this in the blue first. So this is the dark blue. Just ink this all up. And then over the top we're gonna use the brown. So this is the 969. And then I'm going to stamp it off because I don't want it too dark. And it is a beach scene, so that means the wood and everything is kind of washed out, and so we don't want too much color on here. And I'm going to stamp it a little bit more up into the right corner. That looks good right there. So let's go ahead and ink the little girl up. So we're gonna ink her up just in the brown just the brown and we're for sure going to stamp her off because we don't want her to be too dark for sure. So I'm gonna use that same scratch paper and ink her off and then I'm going to use my positioner. I just wanna make sure I get her in the right place. And I think I will put her right, right about, about there. Cuff on it and stamp that. So we've got a good starting starting point right now. Okay, so let's go to our first step and that is to pull the color out of the lines. That is always the first step. And the fun is because it changes the image so much. And this this point in the in the um in the project or in your little painting uh, always looks the most intimidating. To me it does because you're looking at a, a line drawing and you're wondering how in the world is this ever gonna look like a watercolor painting? But it really does come together, it really does. Especially when you start pulling this color out of the lines and you start seeing how this is looking three dimensional. It's like, you know what, this is gonna work. Love it. And these little um, cedar shakes here. Just carefully pull that color out of the lines. And we'll come back and do some more with this, uh, but we're good for right now to continue on. Okay, so let's go on to this little girl and we're gonna do the same with her. We're just gonna pull the color out of the lines. Just carefully do that. She's gonna be very light, especially her skin. super light and we'll come back to her as well okay so let's go on from here and I'm gonna uh, cover this little cabin up so I created a little mask here I'm gonna cover that up and then I'm going to stamp the palm trees in so I'm gonna use two colors so the brown again and the blue And I'm going to stamp this off as well. Just don't want that too dark. And I'm going to just kind of come over the top. I want to leave enough room for my uh, for my palm branches. 
just want to make sure that I don't uh, cover up too much of that. So now I can uh, pull the color out of those lines. And just kind of, just lightly, you know, just with the tip of your, your brush. Don't, over, don't overthink this. Okay, so let's go on now and add our little palm, palm branches. So I'm just using this one that kind of goes to the right. And I'll put some back in here. And then to the left. And you can, you know, create how big these trees are by how much of these palm branches you use. So you can just, you can just ink parts of it. And use, you know, half of a, half of a, a palm. Actually, let's use this, the fine, the little number one brush. So this is a num the number one. It actually works really well with these little pine branches because you don't want to, um, palm branches, because you don't want to uh, lose the integrity of the image. You know, you don't want to blend it out too much. You still want to see that there's, that they're palm branches. Okay, that looks good. So let's add some more foliage in here now. And I'm going to use my little vine, the right and the left. This is the little tiny one from the new foliage uh, four set. And let's go the other way here. Just get a few up here. And I'm just gonna stamp a few onto the roof. And then I'm just gonna soften this up. Jump your brush around, soften it up. And you can see I'm I'm doing this, um, I'm doing the vine and the flowers on top of the roof before I add any color into it because it's easier to add the color after so that we're not stamping over a lot of color on here. Okay, so let's add uh, some flowers here. And actually, I should have said this in the beginning. This is the little filler flower from the original uh, flower set. And I'm just gonna ink a couple of these uh, just to get some bright tropical colors in here. And then I'll add some water to that. Okay, that looks good. So let's continue on. We're gonna put some color onto, um, onto my palette now. So some dark brown, some light brown, some blue. This is the number 528 blue, so that bright, bright blue. And let's start putting some color on this little cabin. Let's call it a cabin now. So here's that really light, pretty blue. And let's just add some color here. And let's put some color into the windows. Like so. And let's add some dark blue also. So I'm going to add some uh, some brown now to that roof. You can see it's much easier now to add the color once we've got uh, the flowers and the vines on here. We just kind of add it around. And let's add some of this now to the to the little trees. And then under here, under this eave.
And we can just put a little of this, this color on here too. I never like to leave things just uncolored. It's always better to just add, even if you're adding just a, a you know, kind of a mix of color, it's always better to do that. And it, it kind of gives the idea that it's, you know, peeling paint, something old and weathered. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to take some of this dark blue now and just kind of uh, add a little shadow across here and back here. So this is kind of in the shadows back behind. Okay, uh, I'm going to uh, add the sand now. So this, this medium brown, and let me tell you what number that is. It's number 947. This is a great color for sand. It's just a great color. So let's just brush it on. And I think I'm gonna just bring it down like this. And you know, it's better to start out light. You can always add uh, more to it. And you know, the sand, it doesn't, doesn't have to fill up your whole, uh, your whole paper. So you can just give the idea of it. And let's create just a little, kind of a little walkway here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's finish this little cottage and I'm going to put some of the little palm branches in here so these little guys and I'm just gonna stamp them in nothing to it and let's get the one going the other direction here And I think I'll just take a lighter green and actually add a little more of these palm branches in the background. Just to really create this tropical looking background. And let's just do a little. Use my little number one brush. And if you like, you know, more detail, you don't have to add much water to these. It's up to you. These little guys, I think, really make it look tropical. Putting these little palm branches in. Okay, so let's add, let's add the ocean now. So, uh, this blue, this bright blue, that's a little too blue for the ocean. It's gonna work great for the sky, but uh, we need to add some green to it. So let's just do that. That's getting closer now. So let's just brush this in. Just come right alongside that that sand and then just kind of let it end and let's go ahead and put the sky in now so let's use that bright blue and let's just put in some blue sky I 
This is probably a little blue for a tropical sky, but I just love it. It's the whole uh, feeling that it conveys, you know, that it's it's soft and, and beautiful and bright. So if it's a little exaggerated, I think that's okay. I'm gonna put some back in here. It's okay, it's always okay to mix the blue with the green. So when you're putting sky in and you have some green foliage and you know, whether it's pine trees or palm trees, whatever it is, it's okay to mix the blue with that. It actually blends really well, but you don't wanna, you don't wanna hit that blue with the brown from your structures or the brights uh, from your flowers. That's gonna just bleed. Okay, we're making progress. So let's do this little girl. And she, I feel like she needs a bright pink swimming suit. So let's add that. And you can, you know, if you've got a, just a little boy in your life, do a little boy on the beach. Or two. These little kids are just so fun to do and they're they're actually really, really simple. And you know, I've taken the hard work out by taking out the face. I think that's the hardest part about these is, is doing the features. So I've kind of done away with all that for you. And you can make it personal then. So you can make it your little child in your life. So I'm gonna go on now to the hat. So remember, stay in your section. Stay in each section, do each section by itself. So you don't wanna cross those lines. And the top of the head, you always wanna see that highlight at the top of the head. And then the skin tone. Um, this is a great, color to start with. This is a number 850, but you can easily mix some warm brown or cool brown with it and change the ethnicity of that child. Super easy to do that. So I'm adding a little bit more brown to her. And then let's just do something a little decorative here. And let's go ahead while she's drying, I might put another uh, do another coat on, on her skin. But while she's drying, let's put some uh, shadows in. When you're doing a beach scene or a tropical scene, you've got to get some shadows in there because that's that's how you know it's it's bright and sunny. So just put a little, you know, just add a little shadow. And then under her She's sitting on the beach. She's going to have a shadow. And then let's just add a little more sand just by her little feet. And then I think I'm just gonna go a little darker over her skin. So this is how you change the ethnicity, just like this. Just go back over it again until it's as dark as you want it. So 
So take a look at everything and see if there's anything that needs to be changed. Looks pretty good to me. I think we've got most of the detail here. You can always come back to it, you know, a day or so later, come back to it and look at it again. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think we are about finished. this little painting of our little girl on the beach. So one thing left to do, and that is to sign and date, which I will do right now. And put that on a card or put it in a frame and give it away. You're gonna make someone's day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you all next week.